Alrighty, next game is Dolphins Seahawks in Miami. I will be playing as a Seahawk. Today, from Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida, this is Madden NFL 21. It's magic. All right, let's get it. From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in hey, Miami. Let's start with the ball. Hey. Up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Seattle Seahawks and the Miami Dolphins. From the six. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. All righty, let's see how we do this. Run game. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And he right. takes us up to the 40-yard line before we should have more, but we're fine. He's the drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Chris Carson has proven to be a workhorse for the Seattle Seahawks, and they continue to expand his game. We know that he can run inside and be Bingo. a losing type of a player. Thought it was going to be put down there, but we're fine. The and they've expanded his game now by throwing it to him out of the backfield. In 2019, in the top 10 in the league in touches and yards from scrimmage. On first down, okay, it's Carson, and he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. He was tackled defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Nice. That one going to be complete to David Moore, and he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 30. 16 yards, a first down. First nice methodical Seattle. opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. Hey, just hey I'm going to run it. That was my they first pass in the game. Now. Either yeah. way, though, they've come out with a purpose. Ow. Get about six that there one as he takes like this hurt. one down to the 24-yard line. The handoff to Chris Carson. Six yards on that last exactly. play. Here's second and four. They run it with Carson. Okay. After a pickup of four. Chris Carson. Everyone, they got this. Because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, they're carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. He's taken down at the set. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three. This place is still broken. Stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality nope. of the whole thing. Nope. Right? Never maybe. Look at the offense and say they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change the Inches in the seven. We're going to take a good position to be in here, second and inches. And go off. Oh, come on. brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. Down to the one. That play gets them six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. First and goal at the one. Nope. Nope. And he pushes forward and comes up short of the goal line. Okay. He'll get a yard down to about the one. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a quick Are you play. serious? Chris Carson, the ball carrier. Stop short of the goal line. Come on, I want to run this play with him. They'll try to run Thank you. And he will take this Still don't one in for the Seattle touchdown. Touchdown. Switching it in from a yard away. And the Seahawks take the ball down the field and score on the opening drive. Opening drive was five minutes. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter. The bulk of the first quarter? The that was the entire that first quarter. Last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field. They should have been in there like two plays ago. But they finished.
finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. Yeah, defense. The Dolphins offense set to take over, and it's the longtime veteran Ryan Fitzpatrick yep. who leads the way. Be wary of and I bet he's talking Fitz to his magic. guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up-and-down game, almost like basketball, where both teams press and one team gets an advantage. Our team's trying to run with them, and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not. Just settle in. Get calm before you go for the big strikes. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Gesicki. Patrick's pass. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Thank you. Yeah, I'm bring it up here to be right so mad. You just got a nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Carry there by Jordan Howard, and we all know he started his career in Chicago and was a two time 1,000 yard rusher. Spent 2019 in Philadelphia battling injuries, but when he's healthy, he can be a flat out workhorse and can break down defenses. They snagged by Devontae Parker. While it took him five years in the league to have his first 1,000 yard season, he broke out in a big way. The former first round pick had career highs across the board in 2019. In fact, his touchdown total for the year equaled his career total to date. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Yeah, he's going to run by Jordan Howard, and now another first and ten. Working out of the gun, Fitzpatrick. Okay. That's complete to his tight end, Mike And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Seven yards to pick up there. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now the Georgia Southern man is Matt Breida. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. It's the big one, boys. He was taken down by KJ. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll try to or they could just do that. Howard. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Throw right side, complete to Williams. A gain of six there on first. A six yard six pickup. yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Jeez, what is with these like? He's not throwing. He's not throwing over the middle. Only throwing to the side. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Third and three. 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 When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. I guess double the Dolphins plus, will just have big it time play. Play. That'll be complete to Breda. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Throwing again on second down. Fitzpatrick will get this into the hands of Breida. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. A chance now to get even before the break. And he takes it into the end zone. Good. Touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying up this football game. So a late touchdown here just before the half. That obviously changes the dynamic of this game. He had a couple of ways, partner, because they've been shut out up into this point. So now at least they go into the locker room and Uncle Mo may be creeping over to their side to talk to him a little bit. And second, they're right back in the football game. An extra point away from tying things up. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. 22 yard line. For the Seattle Seahawks coming back onto the field. And Charles is saying around the Pacific Northwest this time of year is let Russ cook. Can I, He's can been I get a shot to start the year, no doubt. You can buy those t-shirts out there, by the way. But the NFC Offensive Player of the Week for Week 1.
and he backed that up with his fourth career five touchdown game in the win over New England on Sunday, 35 to 30. The Pats made it tough, drove down to the one in the final seconds, but the defense for Seattle stood tall, stopping Cam Newton on the final play to get the victory. Yeah, what a terrific start for the Seahawks. Yeah, this division, the NFC West, how do you separate? we got three 2-0 and o teams in the division right now. San Francisco's 1-1. One one. This Seattle team with Russell Wilson playing at this level. And what I found really interesting come on, is come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He was on a national radio show, and they asked him who the best quarterback was in the NFL, and he said to me, without a doubt, and then went out and backed cool. it up with five touchdown cool. performances um, against a team that's probably so in the Super Bowl. Yeah, so this Seattle team has a ton of optimism, and now they get Dallas coming to town. Dak Prescott, Russell Wilson, what a great matchup. And then they're at Miami in week four. Miami has it for team. all of the third quarter. I'm honestly going to explain. And a penalty marker's down on the field. And they might be backing up a bit here to start the drive. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. Right. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. How? Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. Options galore here. Second and a few inches. and inches. Fitzpatrick will hand this to Howard. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Howard. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Bobby Wagner, the NFL's leading tackler in 2019, there on the stop. At the 34-yard line. On second and seven, Come Fitzpatrick on. firing quickly here, and that's complete. We're down. Come and on. catch good for five. It's third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense stop, stop. was Come on. able to stop him before you get a good head of steam. Okay. And Howard stopped short. He didn't get there. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll be the call to the punt team as it's fourth down. That's what we need. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, That's react, what we need and make a play. Yeah. But on that one, he looked yards. like one of those guys. Here comes the Seahawks' offensive unit. They'll have it first to begin the third. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now, can the offense do what they want to do at the half? That's why I hate that play. Those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. Break this time. Xavier Howard with a good coverage that time as he was there and knocked it away. They head to the line facing I hate this game, dude. Why was he so far back? How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. A big kick this there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt, and it'll be Dolphin football at their own 23-yard line. Fitzpatrick on first down. He leads it to the tight end, Smythe. A gain of six there on first. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And I get through. The throw right sideline here is complete. And he'll get it up near the 35 right at the 34. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Out of the shotgun, Marita. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Jamal Adams there on the tackle. A gain of a yard. Brings up second and nine. At the 36. On second and nine, Fitzpatrick. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. 
Fitzpatrick hasn't missed a throw. Back. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third really down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Fitzpatrick from the gun on third. Wide open over the middle. That's hilarious. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 41 yard line. The Dolphin pass. Nothing is working. They've got another first down. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and ten. At Man doesn't 41. work. Zone doesn't work. Patrick throwing complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. That's another what am I supposed Dolphins. to do when nothing works? First down. First and ten at the 29-yard line. On first and ten, Fitzpatrick. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And he'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Eight a good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. At the 21-yard line. This is Howard on second down. He'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. He was taken down. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not. Oh, no. He lost yes. The football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And a big turnover Ooh. there as his guys will get the football back. Well, so much That's for the four-minute offense. They were trying to reduce the clock, get in position to win the game, and leave okay, no time block for them to come fine. back and catch them. And guess what? They turned the ball over. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, they had it all set up for themselves, and they let it get away. Yards on the pickup. Second and six. The locket with a grab over the middle. Wilson and he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. It's a gain of 22 as we tick towards the two-minute warning. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. From the gun, it's Wilson. And a scary yeah, that's why I run the ball. Should almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Xavier Howard on the covering. To throw again. Wilson over the middle and into the hands of his receiver Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Right. Okay. Okay, DK Metcalf. Thank you. The the you know I can't trust you to catch it. Second down. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so nice. it all has to come together properly. The throws made. Where's Good the catch? Right Got to catch in that spot. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. They'll run on first down. Carson, and he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Now a first and ten at the 11. Now a give right side. It's Carson. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. At the 9-yard line. Ball at the 9 on second and 8. Brings up second and 8. Milking the clock because I don't want to take any chances. Here's Carson, and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance of three in the lead, so how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about it if you're confident in your kicker. And if you got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. 
And this one is Perfect. right through. And that game should not have been that difficult. Yeah. Don't a little seven. drama there at the end, but really this thing was already that decided. That game should the not have been that difficult. It ends on the kickoff. 10-7 Seahawks. Right